Okay, welcome to my new tutorial on how to create a public Sour Broughton server. Hopefully this one will be a bit more clear, a bit more modern, and perhaps a bit slower. Um, okay, well, let's go. Please ignore what's going on in the background. Um, okay, so the first thing you need to do is navigate to your Sour Broughton installation directory. For me, that's located under local disk D, and then game file, whoops, game files, and then Sour Broughton. For you, it will actually most likely be located under C program files, Sour Broughton, but as you can see, that's not here. Um, now, actually, the first thing you're going to want to do is actually create a copy of um, your original Sour Broughton config. Now, I've actually already had this set up, so I'm actually going to replace mine with the um, the backup. So now I have a default Sour Broughton configuration. If you're starting from Notepad, uh, which I actually do not recommend because it's going to be more difficult to use, um, <laughs> first, get a better text editor. Second, um, you'll notice it's actually really hard to read because these are, in a technical sense, these are Linux file endings or Unix file endings. So they're actually not going to be read correctly from Windows. So if we go to Notepad++, it will correctly recognize it and we'll get a nicely formatted file that it's possible to use. What we need to do is now we actually need to just uncomment a couple lines. So if we're looking here, we have server port, which is 28785. We need to uncomment the server port. Oh, excuse me, StackSerp is telling me stuff's done. So uncomment the server port. And then go ahead and make a server description. It's called hello server 5. And then we just need to confirm that update master is 1. Update master is indeed 1, so we're good to go. So go ahead and save that. Um, so essentially, if, if you're trying to do this from Notepad with poor formatting, you're going to need to find these keys and then delete the uh, two slashes in front of them. So just like that. Um, and I suppose server port was the only one we actually had to modify, so that'll probably be it if you're trying to do this from Notepad. We're done here. We can go ahead and close this. Let's go back to Sour Broughton. Uh, I'm sorry, actually, before we do that, we actually have to add the port forwarding to the router. Um, so identify how to perform or set up port forwarding in your router. It'll be either in your manual or um, documentation online, you know. Get to wherever you do your port forwarding. Uh, for me, I have some private information on dashboard, so I will not be showing you guys that. So we're just going to start from the port forwarding tab. So it was 28785, and you'll actually see it suggests here. So we need a range 28785 to 28786. In my router, that's configured by just adding a dash. In yours, it will likely be different. So we're going to forward that to my machine, which I already know is 192.168.0.12. You can identify that by going to a command prompt and then type then typing IP config. Uh, and then you'll just need to find something that looks reasonable. Uh, in my case, that's actually only one thing because it's the only IP address I have here. So you're looking for IPv4. I don't know how to actually do this in IPv6. Um, good luck if you do or if you need to. But uh, that's, you know, 192.168.0.12 in my case. I don't know what it'll be in yours, but probably something similar. It'll probably actually have a one here, um, but similar enough to make sense. We need the same address on the outside and inside. So the original port or what's on the inside is 28785 to 28786. And then on, on the outside, it's 28785 to 28786. And I'm just going to call that Sour Broughton. Uh, and you have a choice to select between TCP, UDP, and both. Sour Broughton actually only uses UDP, but we're going to go ahead and use both because I, you know, I just I don't care. I don't want to have issues. Make it easier. We're applying. We're waiting. Still waiting. Configuration's been applied successfully, so we can go back to Sour Broughton, and we can go here. Pops up in our tray. Let's go ahead and open console and master server registration succeeded. You're done.